What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. This is an update video on the pacemaker. We have been smashing out the fiberglass and I'll tell you what, we're very close to the final stages of fiberglassing before we can get onto sanding and fairing. So let's do a bit of a run around on the boat and see exactly what we've done. Okay, so since last episode, we are getting the fiberglass finished up so we can get into the fairing ready for paint, which I'm very excited about. So first up is the bowsprit. We've actually pushed this out of a mold from uh, a friend of mine. We've glassed that up, nice and strong. It's at least 10, 12 mil thick in glass with a bit of 18 mil ply wedged in the middle of it. And that's glassed into the front of the boat. Next on the to-do list was to finish glassing up the existing windows, so nice and strong, as well as finishing up the rear transom area by putting in a PVC pipe through the transom support bracket so we can get our cable through and glassing up the battery mounts. Now, thank God, the fiberglass is practically done. So the last we've got to do is just glass in the fuel tank floor uh, and the pedestal seat brackets. Uh, here, I've actually made some brackets for the, the batteries, for the battery plates to trays to sit on. So these are gonna be glassed in at the back of the boat on the floor. So then we can screw into this and not touch our, our floor. I don't want any holes in the floor. Eliminate any water going through and rotting it out. Quick clean in the shed before we start getting into the bogging and sanding. It's probably the boat's first wash in almost a year, almost a year since our first video. Alrighty, so next stage of this boat is getting it ready for paint and that is a bunch of bog, bunch of sanding, bunch of fairing and we're going to be starting up with the, the top deck. So we're going to do a section at a time. So I've actually got the old man helping. I've got a bunch of gear uh, that I bought from Bunnings so we can get this thing underway. Now I'll tell you what, if you've never built a boat before and you don't own tools, you'll definitely own some tools by the end of it. We have got some plastering trowels and some hawks. Just some cheapies, six bucks each, throwaways, two of these. Uh, and the old man, he's gonna show me how it's done. So that's for him. These are all my sanders, grinders, got a bunch more in there, ready to go. Cleaned out the shed a little bit. Always good to work in a clean shed. Uh, so yeah, I think we're gonna be starting off with the top deck. All the holes that needed to be glassed in have been glassed. So it's basically now just sanding it all back, acetoning it and getting it ready for its first coat of bog. Now, before any bog gets put down, the boat needs to be sanded down. So we're just using between 40 and 60 grit sandpaper, using the sanders on the, the flak sections and a bit of elbow grease uh, around all those curves. Once that's complete, we'll give it a hit with the air compressor and some acetone and then uh, start putting the bog down. Now the bog is homemade. It's basically Q-cell mixed with 50-50 of flow coat and vinyl lesser resin. Depending on the thickness of your bog, uh, just determines how much Q-cell you put in. So on the flat sections, I like to keep it a bit runny so we can get uh, more of a smoother finish. Uh, once it's put on, let it dry, so half an hour, an hour, and then get your long boards and start sanding. Now this is definitely a rinse and repeat job. Uh, <laughs> you're basically a pro if you can get it done in one go but uh, yeah sand it down find the low spots get it back on sand again now this video was only really dedicated to show you the fiberglass that's been done prior to fairing sanding and painting so next episode it's going to be a full dedicated video on, on on the bogging side of things and fairing so don't stress about that the the last couple of minutes of this episode is not what all you're going to see have a go we're getting there guys we're getting there a little bit more bog on the corners, but we're starting to get the shape right. Short little video this week, but that is where we're at with the pacemaker. Uh, next video, we're going to be putting a bunch more bog on this and getting it straight. 
So yeah, we just started today. Um, I'll probably leave it for a full video um, in the next couple of weeks, but that's, uh, that's uh, where we're up to and yeah, pretty stoked. So see you in the next one, take care.